bar, green bar, tent poles, $16. Fiberglass, 3 8 inch, and the same old joint made of uh, sleeve version one. So I'm just gonna sit down here on this test rig, and basically I'm putting my whole weight on this, and of course the tent pole is smooth, but just with sufficient um, super glue, we can put the, the two halves of this green sleeve assembly on there. And this also can hold this, uh, I don't know, five to 600 pounds of tension here. And it's just a green joint on both sides. You can tell, you can just simply pull that out and you've got it like this. Here's an example use case. Let's say you want to bear a load on a shelf like this. Well, normally we would construct a shelf with a supporting vertical member, but instead you can add this diagonal, which is less weight, less components, maybe. And if you design the joints right, then this is totally feasible because we have a very strong tension brace. Here's the other test that I made months ago, and it sat in the rain for like several months and it got all warpy and stuff. But the whole point was, I'll show you, if a member is supported on both ends, then we all know that it's stronger or more rigid when it's in this direction than this direction. That's because of the area moment of inertia. Okay, so this zone is in compression and this zone is in tension and the middle is kind of neutral. And then you could simulate. I wanted to see if I could make this long floppy 12 foot, 10 foot two by four less floppy by adding this member so that the wood is only in compression. Okay, here's our control. It's an ordinary, it's a 10 foot section of a 12 foot two by four, brand new from the store. And if I bounce, ugh, we get some bending. 10 foot section with the re, reinforced rebar. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Anyway, I can't bounce it. <laughs> Okay, here's the crazy part about this. It's just glue. It's this stuff. I'm gonna flip this over. Uh, and this is simply the black urethane adhesive. I put this two by four here to space it. And then these ones are simply like, look, I just added that to, to take out the slack. One, two, and then another set of a glued joint. Yeah, so all I did was take a router and make half of the diameter groove in this thing and then jam it in there with a lot of the beta seal black urethane stuff i am not a structural engineer and some of those guys could do this test way better than i could so i hope they do sometime soon and share